is Sheila from Sweetie's Creations and Decor. I'm taking three surfaces. Two of them were some little architectural pieces from the hardware store. The other one was a little piece that I had gotten picked up from a store and I'm using the back side. So I like to make my items reversible if I can. So I'm doing two different things that already had something on the side of the box, the bigger box, and these just had the little architectural pieces on the front. So I'm taking these Ephirma pieces from Digital Deco Designs and I'm adding those on my little pieces. So I put that one down and I am using some Paint Pixie Force Field to put that down with. And then I'm going to add a few embellishments that I've picked up on the edge. A little pumpkin and some beads. Some little greenery. Decorate that up a little bit. I used a stick out of my yard for the stem. So that way you can leave them plain on one side and turn them that direction. Or you can turn them to the side with your fall items on it. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the Best Dang Wax by Dixie Belle, and I'm going to add that to the edge just a little bit. And then you can wipe off if you get too much or if you want to just make it a little lighter. And the same thing on the architectural side. Aren't those cute? Simple, inexpensive. Now I'm going to do the other one. And we're going to put another piece off that same Ephirma. And I cut it with some special scissors, just some little craft scissors I had. I thought I would just fix those up a little bit on the edge. And then I'm just going to dab that on the edge of that. We're going to add some little embellishments to the top of it. A little leaf and a little pumpkin. Those came out of some filler. You can pick that up at any of the little stores. I'm going to add some greenery. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the wax. I didn't even add extra. I just used what was in my brush. Now I'm using this little piece, and I believe that it did come from Hobby Lobby. And then I added another little print.